Okay, welcome to episode four of my Ikuro playthrough on Extreme Difficulty. So just a recap of ex episode three, we rescued our Admiral Yurad by retaking that cruiser, our only ship, our only combat ship in the beginning. We've since acquired, if we look at fleet, second fleet here, we've since acquired a number of derelict ships that we've repaired and we've built up a 1300 strength fleet. I will be retiring uh, many of these, particularly these escorts, probably right away. I've also built some frigates that were designed for capturing that cruiser. I'm going to redesign them for attacking the pirate base. So one of the first things I'm going to do is do a new design here, upgrade these five, build probably five or ten more, get the cruiser repaired, and then begin our assault on this annoying pirate base, which I've been waiting at least two episodes. I guess you can consider the first episode also uh, to get rid of these guys. They've been super annoying. After that, uh, and actually I'm going to begin the research right now, I'm going to research a couple of things I've neglected, but then I'm going to research colonization technology to terraform our three colonies, maybe four by that time. And the race, the Akuro race that we're playing has an extra strong terraforming ability to double the effect of the terraforming, which will be uh, really, really important for all three colonies, but particularly this colony, which right now uh, is only a 19 suitability for both the humans and our Ikuro race. So that's uh, our goals here. And of course, the normal goal of expanding and finding more research. We are at 257, which is really good uh, for considering our start. So, but I will continue to find more research bases. In fact, there is one here still being worked on or will be being worked on shortly. And that'll give us extra tech boost from that too, research boost. All right, so let's get started. So first thing I need to do is uh, actually pick some technologies. And there's a few that I've neglected. There's a few that we got a little boost from. Yeah, we got some boosts. I'm just going through them all because I knew we got some boosts here. See, we got some boosts from things we found. Yeah, armor's really important, but yeah, I'm going to go. The one I've really been missing here is, and I don't know if it has a boost or not, but right here, crew systems, because this is making it difficult for me. Uh, to build my designs, I end up having to put an extra crew system I don't want to. Uh, and even these tier, two, tier twos are important. They do boost my uh, happiness on my colonies, which will help tremendously. I will very, very shortly do the structured research too. But really, like I said, and this is well on its way. So actually, let's do this too. This gives us extra range. Super, super important. But here it is. This is the one. So I want to really, uh, after these four hopefully short research Techs, we're going to focus on this. I want to build this limited biome shaping facility, which will add a 10% quality improvement over time. It'll take a little while, about 10 years, of course, but that's really, really going to boost my income from my colonies. And as I build a relatively tall empire, as I'm playing a pacifist nation here, at least initially, this will be super, super important. So I'm going to do this right away. And I'm going to just hope that the techs I have currently is enough to take on these pirates. I think it should be. Or if it's not, I just build enough ships to overwhelm them. So I've got some research going now. Okay, so let's go to our design screen. Let's grab the frigate we designed earlier. Let's do an upgrade. So make sure that everything is updated to the latest version. I'm going to keep my two weapons and actually, yeah, the buckler is still here. Okay. Actually, is that in a 360 slot? Yes, it is. Okay, good. I'm going to add another shield here. I've got my scanner and I'm going to get rid of some things. I'm already over. I'm at 464. So I'm going to get rid of the splinter pod here. And I think, I wonder if I can get rid of a basic crew system. I can. Excellent. Okay, good. So that got me under the 450. So basically what I've done is I've added an extra shield, I think, basically. Uh, and I have no more capture ability, which is fine. Uh, I'd rather have the weapons and the shielding. All right. So not a huge change to my ships, but it is going to make it version two. Uh, a couple things we can talk about. I skipped this last time is you can set the default here so i want these ships to be aggressive actually i'm in, i'm using torpedoes actually i don't need to be aggressive so i'm going to just say neutral here it's not going to make a huge difference 
but I do have ranged uh, weapons here, a uh, pretty long range weapons here. So yeah, I'm gonna, and again, I'm not really building multiple designs here. So this stuff's not really important. I'll, I'll definitely upgrade it before then. And I don't really care what it, I, I'm gonna leave the default, which is usually what I'm gonna do throughout the game, the latest design for the largest hull for this role. So that's fine. When we get to multiple hull support, we'll talk about different designs, but that's good. So I've got 444 to 450 used. Here, I think we're okay. So small changes there. Now you gotta be really careful, make sure this is on manual, of course. You gotta, I can't just tell this fleet to upgrade because in theory, it would take my other frigates here and upgrade them. And I really wanna use their tech later after the battle, assuming they survive. But I am definitely gonna get rid of this escort. I don't, it's not gonna, it's a heavy escort. I don't think it's that strong. Yeah, 88 strength here. It's not really doing me much good. I'm gonna retire this. And it's going to go to this other spaceport, which is great. I don't want to retire it. That's a little uh, tip here. It takes a while to retire. So I'm building or I'm planning to build more ships here at my home. I don't want it to retire at my home. So I'm going to click that, make sure it leaves the fleet. I'm going to retire it. Yep. And then I'm going to get some tech from this. The rest of the ships are too important for me right now uh, that I need them. Uh, I guess I could retire them too, but we're going to do that. Okay. And then I'm going to, I don't want them to upgrade to my ships here, but I need these five too. So I'm going to do a little manual work here. Actually, I don't know if I can do this. Let's see if I can select these five. Yes, I can. Good. So I'm going to select in here, shift select these five ships that I built and designed, and I'm going to hit upgrade. And so I think I, that will work. Yeah, it will work. Okay. It's going to go back here to do it, which is fine because I'm going to spend... Uh, my, I'm going to use my current home spaceport to build more ships. So let's go there. That's this spaceport here. And I'm going to build maybe, I don't know, maybe 10. Yeah, I have enough money here. It's not, money's not really a problem. And again, as a little shortcut I showed you before, go to your military ships, select all the ones that are being, that are red. So shift select. And if you have enough, so because this cruiser is getting repaired, it's in front of it. It's in front of this one. So if, you, if you're trying to select with shift select, you'll notice if you try it here, you're going to also get this cruiser. So control, I'm holding down the control key and clicking will grab a non-continuous item right from this list. So it'll skip over this cruiser that's getting repaired. Okay, excellent. And I'm going to just make sure I add these to second fleet. So now, now you'll see Second Fleet is huge. Of course, these are all unbuilt. And I'm just going to let the game run. All right, so I'm going to run it eight times here. Eventually, when my other ships, right, that's my other group of ships, these guys are all retrofitting. And then they'll come back and join me here, and then we'll attack the pirates. So the timing should be pretty good. It'll take very little time for them to... Okay, let's just pause here and see what this says. And it'll take very little time for them to retrofit and then they'll jump back here and we'll all be one big happy family ready for an assault on our pirates so an abandoned base acquired yes that's the, okay finally after all this time that spaceport is now part of our empire and now and it will add to our research a little bit if i come over here i should see it yeah there it is so it's 18 more i think i mentioned that or like 15 or 18 so it's 18 more uh, and it's also giving me plus 25% high-tech research, which I think, yeah, I don't know if we were getting that before. But anyway, that's great. So now I'm up to 270 research, which is really useful. I'm going to always check your scientist. I think everybody here is okay. In fact, there's only one negative number. All right, good. So research is off to a good start considering the disadvantage I came with. Let's let the game run a little more. Keep an eye on second fleet. So I'm going to go back. To, by the way, you can select your fleets here too. So as long as you, and it, that this is relative to what you're zoomed at, right? So I'm zoomed way out. I can see my whole empire here. So every fleet, every spaceport is selectable from here. In fact, when I was building my ships, I'd probably been easier to go here than through the menus like I showed you earlier. Okay, we get some tech from, from the destroyer we're working on there. That's excellent. Okay, so if I want to select second fleet, just click here. It shows you a little picture of our Admiral there. And if my fleet is on auto, it will tell me. All right, these are one of those events Yeah, that the human planet here, human colony got leveled. So it's got some damage. It'll repair itself over time. 
Nothing is permanent. Okay. Okay, this is super, super important. I found a source of Loro's fruit. This is super, super important, like worth putting a fleet there to defend. So as you can see, it gives me a huge colony development, 4% population growth, that's really good, and plague curing, not so critical, but if we do get a plague later, in theory, it'll, ha it'll heal faster, we'll be able to save more lives, reduce the effects. But this is super, super important. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna double click here, or show me here. I'm gonna go to that system, there's an unknown ship here. That's interesting. Oh, it's a pirate ship. Okay. And he's chasing my surveyor. So I really, okay. So I want to build a mining base here. I, I may even want to colonize it, although no, it's at zero suitability, but eventually I may want to colonize this. It's so, so important to have this resource secure. Uh, but I've got the pirates right next door. So I'm going to keep this in mind. Very super important. I will deal with it as soon as these pirates are destroyed and then no one will be bothering me there. So if I try to build it now, as you can see, my exploration ship is getting chased down. Uh, it would be a problem. So let's just go back and focus on what we were doing, which is waiting for second fleet to rebuild. And we've got to stop these pirates. As you can see, about three quarters of my messages are annoying messages are coming from the pirates raiding us. So once this is done, I will be very, very happy. Okay, we remember we uh, another thing from the previous episode is we met another empire. I just don't see them here. So they'll, they'll show up soon enough. As soon as my exploration ship spread out more, and I should probably be building more of them. Oh, we've got a new destroyer. Okay, let's grab him. Uh, yeah, he'll be in here. So there's a bug that I found that uh, I reported, actually. That if you click on that fleet too quickly, that ship too quickly, you could have a problem. So, by the way, another little nice tip here is I'm looking for destroyer. So if I go to destroyer here, you'll see I only have one, right? So that was a quick way to find it because I was having trouble finding it. I'm going to join this to second fleet. It will still refuel, and then when it's done, it'll join us, and we'll use that ship in the combat, what we're about to do. All right, so I'm going to hit delete to come back out again, select second fleet. There's that new destroyer right here, but has no fuel left yet. Okay, we made another research breakthrough on enhanced storage. Oh, that's great. Okay. Now, I will crash this soon, but I'm going to wait till it gets ahead a little bit. I don't want to waste all my money on it. And I'm going to need the money to build these terraforming buildings as well. Okay, everything's built. Now we're just waiting. And I may not wait for this fleet destroyer because it's probably, well, it'll be refueled pretty quickly. But And my cruiser is still getting repaired. There it is. Okay, great. So you can watch. It's pretty cool. You can watch the damaged components being fixed as it's getting repaired. And then it's all set. It's all fixed. Okay, great. And that's, of course, got our Admiral Gerard. Finally back. And yeah, 4,000. We should be fine. That should definitely take out the pirate base. I could be wrong. And of course, we're missing this destroyer yet. He's not going to be there right away. But I'm going to double click on them. Oh, so interesting. They're not... Well, that's one ship. I, w I wanted to go... All right, I want them all to meet here before we go. I think most of them are here. Yeah. Good, and they're all fueled. So just tell them all to meet here, even though they're fueled again. Yeah, this will top them all off. All right, excellent. Good, we had a critical breakthrough. That's amazing. So we saved ourselves a ton of money, right? That's just luck. So this was taking us seven years before, and I was going to have to spend probably 100000 or so to crash this program. I just saved all that money because a random event happened. That's great. All right, I think we're ready, finally. I know not all my ships are here. I think that destroyer is not here, but he'll meet us there. I think we're finally ready. I can't believe this moment has finally come to wipe out these pesky, pesky pirates, right? And also I'll get a nice new Caslon source here after I take uh, destroy it. I could take this. So, you know, I could have kept those assault pods on. I could have built more assault pods, maybe doubled them up, and I could have captured this base 
it's easy enough to replace. All right, that's important enough to stop. We got a new research location. Oh, it's too missing 32 silicon. Okay, so this is another problem. You see, I'm highlighting this here for you. This is a huge problem. I mean, I'm sure someone is getting them, but we have to check to make sure we have silicon sources. And if not, that's a problem. So let's address this. It might just be that I built so many things that we went through it uh, too quickly. Okay, this is new too. We have our scientists making this research their top priority. We have found technology that has advanced our understanding of large fuel storage. Great. That's going to give a lot of range to my exploration ships, which is really important. Okay, so a bunch of things just happened. Let's pause the game. Let's take a look. So I want to see why I don't have enough silicon. So we're going to go to resources and we're going to go to mining locations. I want to see what I currently have. Okay, and I'm going to I could go through all this, which would, of course, be exhausting. So we're just going to go and search for we're going to filter by just silicon, right, which is right here. All right, so I do have two mining stations. It's just a temporary lull. My freighters aren't getting it uh, shipped enough. It'll probably, wow, look at all that. See, this is a freighter issue. I have 25,000 here, and I have 10,000 here, even though still two sources is kind of scary, only having two sources. But this is a freighter issue. So the freighters aren't coming en enough, or we don't have enough freighters being built. And there's not much I can do about that. The AI is going to handle that. As long as they're funded enough, they will build these ships and they'll catch up. So I'm not so concerned about it. What I really wanted to make sure was that this, that I had an actual source or two of this. Uh, and I figured, I, I do remember when I was picking, you know, when I was picking new mining locations, I do remember seeing them. Uh, yeah, so, and this is crazy, right? So we can't even do, I can't even build any of these yet. So all of my construction ships are just sitting around idling probably right now, or they're working on, Possibly, yeah, building other uh, other ships or stations. Funny how they're all building the same station. That seems strange to me. But see, this guy's no mission because I'm on auto build research stations. I'm going to leave them anyway. I, enough of them are popping up, and I have plenty of these construction ships, so I'm not really worried about it. And they're retrofitted to the latest design already, which is great. Okay, so we're good. We're just going to let the game run a little bit, and then we'll pick that up, and I'll be able to... Click on this as well as all of my different mining stations I need to add. It's just a temporary lull. The freighters will catch up with it. All right, back to our previous plans here, which was to attack this base, okay? It's a strength of, oh, actually, this is going to be a little closer than I thought. This is a strength of 2,600, and I'm a strength of 5,000. Yeah, I'm actually going to go back and build a few more ships. I'm just a little paranoid. So I'm going to build... Yeah, see, here are all the small freighters coming, right? And we're just going to delay it even further by building combat ships because they will prioritize that. But yeah, the, the my game is trying to catch up on freighters because it realizes that I'm way behind. And these, I hope I can build these. Yeah, I can. Okay. All right, so I'm going to build five more. I think that's going to be enough. I'm going to go... Switch this to be all ships, and I'm going to select those five and just tell them to join Second Fleet. Okay, let's let this run a little bit. Before we do the attack, I'll also double check to see if we have enough silicon to build some more bases. It might be already. Nope. All right, so let's hope that resolves itself soon enough. Okay, ancient message retrieved. So this is another research station, I think, an abandoned research station that we just found. I didn't have time to go look at this, but it's like that other one we were working on. Okay, so this is just some communication. You'll see this in the other storylines, too. It's not unique to us about this ancient war that happened, right, where all the empires uh, got together, I think all but one, to attack these guys. So you can read through this on your own. But it is mentioning, right, it's revealing that there's this doomsday weapon, which is in the game. Uh, so it's just a little reference to that. Okay. There's some more coming out. There's another one. These are getting built pretty quickly. And then we'll go. And that'll give us time for this destroyer that we have found, wherever it is. Here it is to join us because it's coming from a different refueling place. 
All right, three more and we're finally gonna do it. I'm gonna take a quick look back. Good, it's ready. So I'm gonna build this research base. So a freighter somewhere, and I could have searched for it, by the way. I could have gone through these ships here, right? Looked at my freighters and see which one was carrying silicon to see that it was on its way. I could get, I could go down to that level. I wasn't too concerned about it. I figured it was happening. But just so you know, it's kind of interesting, and I could double-click and follow it. I could escort it with ships to make sure it got there safely. I could see uh, exactly when it was going to arrive. So it's pretty... You know, one of the things I love about this game is this level of detail where you could have found the ships that were carrying silicon and see see where they were and followed them around. I think that's just really cool that you can go to that level. And I'm going to also start rechecking these, which have, we have been neglecting. And that will... It's okay that there's a threat here. My ships will know not to go there, generally speaking. But I'll take care of that threat. I'll do... I'll worry about all this minutia after I destroy these pirates, right? That's a... A critical thing that I want to do. And of course, don't forget the, the Loris fruit. There's another source of silicon. So there's, um, that'll give me more. Uh, yeah. And I'm not really worried about what each of these things are. I just want to make sure I have them. There's another one. So that's a fourth source. Again, I, I think it's a fluke that we ran out. I just think we had a freighter shortage, I think, uh, or it's just bad timing. There's another source. Yeah, we're fine. Wow. And again, this also expands your empire border, right? Which is why it's so critical. Now I'm getting into asteroids here, and that's okay. Not worried about it. I do want all these Caslon sources. So in a little discussion we'll have again later as I expand. You can, by building too many spaceports, it's not going to happen to us. We have a very small empire. It's very close together. But if you're spread out pretty far, you can cause some problems by building a spaceport everywhere. 90% of the time in the games I've played, it's good. It's much better to do it than not. But in theory, and I've certain people have talked about it on the forums, it can you can run into problems where you can't supply enough. But I have so many sources here, I'm not really super worried about it. And if that happens, we'll talk about it in a future episode. All right, I'm going to hit delete. Going to check on second fleet. They're almost ready. And then we're going to go. I think that's there's one more coming. Oh, I'd be so happy to get rid of these guys. It's almost there. Okay, we're ready to go. <sighs> Finally. So let's send them here. Now, a couple of things. I have close-in weapons, so I'm not super concerned. Uh, it's better for me to get in there close right away. Oh, no, I don't actually I have the to torpedoes. I forgot I'm using torpedoes. So I'm going to actually come back here and have them meet here because they're going to come in kind of scattered. They'll regroup and then I'll go and attack. I'm not sure it's going to make that much of a difference. But and I'm also going to tell the fleet to not be aggressive, but to be cautious or neutral. I think we'll just do neutral. That'll keep them at a medium range. My torpedoes are better the closer they get. But I do want to keep a little distance from the base so that they're close in weapons. And I could look here and see what they have, right? So, oh, they have missiles too. Or they have missiles, I should say. They have one. They have two medium rail guns though, so we might stay out of range of those rail guns. Right, and you can kind of see here. Uh, oh, and they have an ion weapon too. But the star, the, these fighters are gonna be my biggest problem because I don't have any fighters. I only have one PD weapon per ship. And some of my ships might not even have PD weapons, some of the ones we got from rebuilding them. All right, I'm not going to overthink this, though. It's not going to really matter uh, too much. Let's see what happens. Uh, we should overwhelm them. But their fighters will give us a little bit of trouble as we first come in. So if you want to watch the progress of the fleet, right, there it is. Their second fleet coming in. And then we can zoom back again. I can just double-click here because I have that base selected. So as soon as they get close, we can just double click. It's all how you want to do it. You could follow the fleet directly. You could have the screen lock into the fleet. Okay, so double click here and I should see them, right? Here they are. Oh, they came in pretty pretty close together. Okay, let's turn the speed back to normal so we can watch the battle. I'm going to have them go right in. So with oh, I got to select second fleet, sorry. So by the way, nice little tip here. You can click on one ship. If you 
double click the ship, I believe. It'll select the whole fleet. Yeah, it'll select the whole fleet. You may have seen me doing that. I didn't really mention it. So prepare an attack or attack doesn't really matter. Now I could try to capture it, right? But it's a pretty big base and I don't, I, as I said, I stripped out most of the assault pods. I really don't care. I don't really want their base. I'll build my own here, but it's it's not a terrible strategy. And this race does have really good assault pods. So it wouldn't have been a terrible strategy to build a lot of assault pods and just start capturing stuff, right? Save you a little bit of money on building things, certainly save you time. And I would have captured all that fuel too, but none of this stuff is critical. So I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm not gonna try to capture it. All right. Now, this wouldn't be too bad to watch the bridge angle here and to watch our fleet coming in. I guess that's our fleet. Oh, no, actually, you can't see them yet. It's too far. Let's speed it up a little bit. I hope I don't miss it. There goes the fighters, right? There goes the fighters. I see them leaving down here in the bottom of the screen. So, and I can't turn the screen. Oh, there they, there they come. So here comes my fleet. So this is what we look like on the uh, pirate base as they came in here. Of course, freeform money can be better, right? Then I can kind of watch the battle from here. There they are. So right now, their fighters have arrived. Their fighters have arrived. And they are... Yeah, I'm going to go back to default here. I don't know how I lost the, uh, the battle here. Okay, their fighters have arrived. And my fighters, my uh, PD weapons are trying to deal with them. Right, I'm probably taking some damage. Let's see, yeah, we're definitely taking some damage here from their fighters, but it's not enough to stop me. Here's my range decreasing. Now my weapon range is around 2,500, so as soon as they get there. So it is kind of a disadvantage that I came in from behind here because I had to deal with their fighters, right? If I jumped right in, I would have been able to shoot right at the base. But like I said, it should, should be okay. But yeah, a couple of mistakes there. All right, we should be shooting torpedoes at this point. And let's see how the base is doing. Not taking any damage just yet. Now, the other thing is they've got ships, which we are fighting, so we're destroying those. Here it goes, okay. So here you can see the shields starting to take damage from our torpedoes. And our area weapon. There it goes. It's gonna go pretty quick. And see, my ships are trying to keep a medium range here, and that's good for my torpedoes. They do a lot of damage. There's the cruiser with the Admiral on it. He's taking some damage here. Sometimes, because it's a unique ship here, you know, I might manually pull him back in the battle, but I think it's gonna be over before then. Yeah, that's it. Okay. So I didn't do a great job here. I probably should have had the fleet come right in rather than dealing with their fighters who really chewed apart our ships. I don't think we lost one. We certainly didn't lose the most important one, the cruiser with the Admiral on it. By the way, if you do lose the ship with the Admiral, he jumps off in an escape pod and then you can, you know, get him later. As long as you're winning the battle and you will own this area later, you can pick him up later. It's, no, it's not critical that he survives or his ship survives, but it's just, you know, this cruiser has such a history with us. I didn't want to lose it. So sometimes in the middle of battle, if I see him taking a lot of damage, I'll right click, right, and move them back to the pack here. Uh, so you can kind of micromanage a battle a little bit that way, but not really cr critically important. So I did take a ton of damage here, right? I mean, most of them don't look seriously damaged. Some armor damage, yeah, component damage. Nothing, nothing crazy, but if I had a few, if I had less ships, that strategy would have been less than ideal, right? I should have had them come right into the station and that would have been best. But, and this is unexplored. So actually, as I said earlier, I want to build a few, I know there's fuel here because he was mining fuel, but, and all pirate bases are over a fuel source, but. Uh, I haven't explored it yet, but my explorers will catch up super, super quickly. And th these guys are, yeah, the Lost Rock. These are friends of ours, right? So not a problem. All right, so all these messages are going to stop. I'm really excited. I'm going to grab Second Fleet. I'm just going to tell them the repair that's going to go back to my home 
colony. So they're all going to fly back unless somebody's too damaged to get back. And then I can have a constructor come, or if I let the AI do it, the AI eventually will do it. The constructor can come back and heal a particular ship. So if you didn't know that, just grab a constructor, right-click on the ship, and it'll say build this ship. Just like you build... And these guys, oh, these guys are picking up this. See, this is not great because they're taking all this stuff, which would have had technology and money in it. Yeah, and I, I think I could have sent my combat ships to do that. I'm pretty sure I could have. Oh, see, I am disabled. Okay, so let me just show you what happened. So I have a disabled ship here, right? So he did get too damaged. And it is one of my ships that I wanted to retire, right? because I'll get technology out of it. So I'm going to grab a constructor. And let's see, I have one refueling here. Oh, he's way out of fuel. And this guy has no mission. Now, he might not have enough fuel, so it might make more sense for me to... Um, oh, right, this is the guy that builds the research stations. It's long, yep, and somebody's already building this one, so we're good. All right, so I'll take him. He's pretty low on fuel, but he should be able to get here. Right-click, complete construction of Sly Sun. And he'll come and fix the ship. And then once the ship is fixed, because it still belongs to Second Fleet, he'll eventually catch up with the rest of the fleet. Okay, so that's how you repair an individual ship. All right, so I'm going to hit delete and go back to my uh, view. So you can see this is where the pirates were. They're gone now. Now we can focus on other things. In fact, as soon as this is done, which is very close, I'm going to be working on colonization. Now, another thing we talked about is, I know I've been ign ignoring these guys, but this one... This independent colony, I think I want to try to grab. So let's take a look at their, uh, yeah, so it's this one. Okay, let's take a look at this. Okay, see, this is, this is I don't like this in the design of the game. So this is their own system, right, the Buscara, and they have a minus nine suitability here. So like, what are they doing here? So that's always going to be a hindrance to us unless I was to wipe these guys out or migrate them to another uh, colony somewhere where they would be would be suitable for them. But it's a continental planet, and I'm good on continental planets, right? So I think I have a slightly less than humans. And I have human populations, so I'll probably have my humans come here. All right, so I definitely want to grab this colony, and I want to do it peacefully if I can. And this minus 15 troubled by my strange alien ways is actually not great, right? Not great. So I know my instinct normally would be to come here and exterminate these people uh, and then put my own people on it. But I know because I'm a pacifist, that's not going to happen. So I'm going to just give them a very large gift and hope that help helps. Yeah, it's going to start to help, but it'll take a lot of these to get that colonized. All right, let's see what happens. Okay, and I still haven't found the other empire that we discovered. I don't see where it is. It's pretty interesting that I haven't seen that yet either. Okay. Now, see all these places have threats. I'll eventually send my fleet to do that, and I may even show you how to automate your ships to do that. There's another silicon source here. Yeah, I want this too. That's more fuel. Yeah, we have a lot of fuel sources, so I'm really not worried about any of that. Second Fleet should be repairing itself as soon as it gets there. It already is. I can see it. And because I don't have any immediate threats and I can always build some of my own ships, I'm going to now retire these guys and get... I'll keep the Destroyer for a little bit. Okay, this looks interesting. Okay, so this looks like... I've never seen this before, so this must be... Okay, so this must be unique to, this is about the war that we talked about earlier, but this must be unique to my race. So, so the, this ancient threat, the Chakturi, among their most feared allies were the Dayut. Okay, the Dayut web. Okay, so these guys were bad. This is that, and they're talking about this, I believe they're talking about this colony here. Yep. Okay. Oh, 
So we also found reference to a terraforming research facility whose location we've been able to identify. This is worth investigating. Interesting. Okay, we found technology for layered armor and intensified shield strength. That's great. And this is the... So, and again, one of the things about this game that they don't have is they don't have coordinates that you can jump to, right? I mean, I'll show you how to see this because you can... Yeah, okay, so, I mean, it's already been investigated, so, oh, no, I guess maybe it didn't. Okay, so bonus from these buildings. Okay, so I guess, yeah, let's go here. So I guess I can colonize this. Let's see. No, see how this bad the suitability is? Okay, but I can build a research base here. Great. And I want to build, get these two... Yeah, you know, these two different resources and a resort base, excuse me. Okay, good. But we won't get these bonuses, right, unless we colonize it. And yeah, they're not so they're not so critically important resources here. Okay, but remember the other thing that I have not forgotten about, I know some of you think I may have, is I really, really want to get that source of Loros fruit, right? So I'm going to look at new mining bases here. I'm going to go by Laura's fruit. I may have already clicked it. Yep, I already have a ship building it. Okay, but this is super, super important. This is one of the four main resources, super resources, if you want to call them that, that give exceptional bonuses. Now, again, I don't know where any other empire is here, so I'm not so concerned about defending it. The pirates are gone, right? But I, re oh, and I already have, a it's almost done. Great. So this is going to boost my income tremendously, as well as offer me a lot of population growth. And of course, population growth means higher population, which means higher taxes, which means higher income. So this is all good for me. If there was a nearby empire, I would probably station a fleet here to defend this. If I knew I was about to get into a war, I would make sure I defend this. And I, I wonder if that's the same system we were just looking at. I think it is. Yeah. So this is a really, really important system for us. And we're going to get a new research base out of this. Wow, 322, we're doing really, really well. And then this is going to be a big thing. So let's let this all go. So I've taken care of everything I think I was worried about. I'm going to try to catch this colony. Just keep sending the money. I've got the new resource here being built. This is critical. I've got some new research stations. My research is doing great. I have a nice three colonies here. This will be nice. See, actually, we're, look at this. We're already profitable even at 19. So... It is possible to be profitable with a suitability slightly less than 20. Not going to matter because I'm going to quickly increase that. But just to show you, this wasn't a total loss here. I'm actually making a little, little bit of money. All right, we've got another base. I think that was the one they were looking at earlier. So that's probably added to my research. Yep. Okay. I'm just waiting for this to get to 100%. Then we'll talk about terraforming. Second fleet is now repaired, I'm sure. Yep. Oh, no, almost. Oh, right. So one of the things I was going to say. So let's take these frigates. I'm going to keep the destroyer, but these frigates, we don't need them. So we're going to leave the fleet and retire. Now, the only thing is going to tie up my spaceport for a little while, but that's okay. I have no plans to build anything else. Uh, here's another one. Leave the fleet. Retire. So it's going to pick the same spaceport. Okay. Sometimes it picks a different, um, different place. Leave the fleet. Retire. And I think this one, leave the fleet, retire. Okay, so we're going to get a bunch of tech from that. Yep, see, right here already. I got uh, advanced and layered armor from that frigate. Okay, and all the other frigates are going to give me some kind of little boost, which is much more important than the ships themselves. The other thing with these ships that you find, wow, another research base. Okay, great. Just happened to catch that one. Another problem with these ships is they don't have good range. They, Particularly as I advance through my better fuel cells, and better hyperdrives, they won't be able to keep up with my ships anyway. And you'll see that happening uh, very shortly. All right, so let me explain this. Now, I'm gonna, I'm down to 4,000 cash flow, although once the Loros fruit starts shipping, I think we're gonna make a lot more money very quickly. But I'm gonna take a hit here, and I know I'm gonna do this, and you may be advised against this by other people, and that's okay. I'm going to build three terraforming places all at once. We're going to take the hit now. So my research is going to drop to about half of what it's going to be because I'm not going to have enough money to fund it. 
And I know there's a way to manually do that. As, as I said, that's not my play style, so I'm not going to do that. But uh, I think it's worth it because what's going to happen is I'm going to quickly increase the quality of these three colonies and they're going to generate a lot more tax money very quickly but i'm just going to take all the pain now so let me show you what i mean so i'm going to go to this facility there it is that's unique to my race it's a 10 percent quality improvement but it takes 10 years to do it right you can see the quality improvement rate is one per year and it, the problem is it's got a maintenance cost of five thousand credits per year so if you look right now i'm barely clearing four thousand Although that will go up pretty quickly anyway from my Loris fruit, but it's going to take a big hit. And it, you can see the build cost is 100000 Now I have 400000 so I can afford it. So my money on cash on hand is going to drop to, you know, somewhere around uh, 100000 136000 But my maintenance cost is going to kill me for the next 10 years. So one, two, and three. Okay, so I know that I'm going to take, now watch my research. It's already being underfunded right now. It's not at 371. And there's my money drop. And you'll pretty soon, as soon as they're built, see, they're still being built. So they're not quite there yet, right? You can watch the progress here. See, it says under construction. The minute it reaches, I don't know if it's fully built or when it's very close to being built, it, I will start taking the maintenance hit, this 5,000 credits per year. So as soon as this gets close to 100%, you're going to watch this number up here drop tremendously, and then that's going to make my research drop, and it's going to be bad for a few years. All right, while we're waiting for that, we got to uh, update my research. So the next thing I want to do is related to... Uh, research, right? So let me go down here and jump ahead to <clears throat> research. So I want to get a couple of things. I want to get this structured research, which will allow me to get a 10% on all my research. That's a big help. And also I get some more scientists likely to appear. So let me grab that. That's a tier four. It's going to take me a long time to do. The other thing I want to do is get this planetary governance, which will drop my uh, or increase my happiness and drop my corruption, which is really, really important. Okay, and then I'm just going to grab this. This is for ships, command centers. It's just good to have a next level command center for dropping the maintenance on my fleets when I do eventually build some fleets. And yeah, what else could I grab? Some of these tier twos here. Coordinated docking makes docking bay two makes things transfer stuff quicker. That's money. I do want that, but I just want to see if there's anything else here at level two or three that I've been ignoring. Fast mining super important too. I may take, I will take that right now. That's going to increase my mining rate, which is super important since they've kind of nerfed that in recent builds. Okay, and I do want to go down this path. I mentioned this earlier, get this regenerative hull, which is really this organic hull, which is really uh, unique to my race and very good. So I'm going to jump and take that. I do want destroyers. That's going to be the mainstay of my fleet. I'm going to eventually need troop transport. I don't know if I'm going to need troop transports, but we'll see. Starfighters, pretty important. Let's go back and take those. They're right here. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff here. It's tier two. I don't know that I ever need maneuvering. I don't think the game uses it well, but I'm going to grab that. Uh, my shields are well on their way. Okay, interesting. I could go down that path, but I'll wait on that. And I really, really want to get this, right? I want to get that unique weapon for my race. So I think I need to, and I still can't do it. I need these, one of these two, right? As prerequisites. And I still can't do them. I need a research reactor bonus. So that's a long time coming. I'm just going to hope that the, I'm going to just run, you know, watch my maintenance drop very, my maintenance kick in and drop my cash flow very quickly. So I'm just hoping that either the nearby AI or that threat we saw earlier. But right now we're in this nice little corner. I think we're very safe. And so I think I can go a little longer without having fleet maintenance. Okay. How's our constructors coming? Everybody, oh, and I want to stop filtering by that. So I just want to see how everybody's going here. Yeah, so there's my constructors working. They're getting through these. That's going to generate income. Yeah, they have still have a lot to go. And no one's building these two yet. So I do want to make sure I have a constructor dedicated. Nope, I don't. He's on manual. He Remember, he went to fix that ship, right? So I need to put him back to auto-build research. It's going to refuel, and then he'll go and build those 
at least one of those research bases. Somebody else might take another one. 13 is not a lot. I do also want to check on this. I only have 12 exploration ships, so it's definitely time to build some more of them. So yeah, I'm going to pick. Let's. So from this one here, which is closest to this frontier here, I'm going to build maybe five or six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'll build six exploration ships. And then my capital's a little busy uh, upgrading things. And yeah, so I'm going to leave my capital alone. You can, of course, have a colony build something. It's just a little bit slower. So I'm going to go here to my home colony and I can have them actually one, two, three, four, five. It's just a little slower, but they'll still build it. And that will leave my spaceport free to do all this freighter work. Uh, well, actually, it's going to break down these ships. That's going to take a while, see? And then it will get all this stuff uh, up. Yeah, so you see how the, <laughs> breaking down these frigates is great. I'm let me let the game run, but it, it really bogs up your spaceport for a while, right? You see how slow it's taking to do that? And that's not a great thing. I've got all this stuff backed up, so I may, let's see if I can take this ship. Yeah, I'm going to stop these guys from, so now these three ships will not break down and I'll get their technology. They're just going to sit there. I don't even know if they're automated. Let's see. Let's see, all ships not in a fleet. So they're just doing nothing. Oh no, they're gonna patrol, they're on auto, okay. This guy's not. So I'll just leave them in for now. And when I get that backlog done, then I'll worry about breaking them down again. It's not so critical to do that. And I don't wanna block my entire spaceport for the next two, you know, two to 10 years doing that. All right, it seems like it hasn't kicked in yet. That's interesting, but I, I, I would imagine they're done. Yeah, this one's done. So I am taking a 5,000 hit from this one and this one and this one. All three are built, right? But I'm still at plus 2,000, 4,000. So I don't know if that's the Loros fruit kicking in or, or whatever. Right, people are just happy, but I'm very fortunate. I don't think that's normal. I'm still taking a hit, so if you look at my research here, I'm still only uh, actually outputting 254 out of a possible 389. And like I mentioned, I can micromanage this and turn the automation off. I don't play that way. But it won't be long before this number goes way up from the fact that these three guys, these three colonies, are getting their quality improved, right? In fact, if I hover over here, you can already see right? My quality went up by one. So you see my suitability, which was normally 19 here for both humans and Akuro is now 20. And you can see here where it says terraforming improvement 1%. That's because this building has already done one year, right? It's already gone through a full year and it's improved it by 1%. And that's improved my income uh, or it will soon improve my income here. Same thing here, right? This is at 1%. So those suitability numbers have jumped by one and eventually it'll jump by a full 10. And then same thing here, it's by 1%. So that's already increased my revenue, right? And each year it will continue to increase the revenue. And then I will get rid of these. I'll turn these off, I'll disable them or actually I'll scrap them. And then that'll stop me bleeding 5,000 per year. From each of them, that's 15,000 per year. And then this number up here will go way up and then my research will be fully funded. It won't take too long. Uh, obviously, it'll take 10 years to get fully, but it won't take too long before this gets high enough where I'm not really being penalized anymore significantly. Uh, it'll go quick. And the, the benefit here is I'll have, see now I'm at 2%, so it's going up and up. And the benefit here is I'll have a much larger income for a long period of time, right, for the rest of the game from these three colonies and any other colony that I may establish. Uh, get established. I'm going to go back to these guys. I'm sure they're ready for another bribe. Uh, right, so independent colonies. It's this one I'm looking for. I'm avoiding these guys. Um, I may do something about that later, but these guys I'm going to try to get. I don't know if it's going to work. Yeah, it didn't so far. So I don't know if I'll ever overcome this Right, the AI is saying, "Look, you shouldn't invade these guys," and I may do that, but I'll just keep bribing them until I'm convinced it doesn't work. Oh, and I forgot there is another. So under new colonies, right? You don't just see independence like this, but you see other uh, potential colonies here that you can uh, colonize, 
And most of these, right, the suitability is too low. That's why you're getting this orange yellow message. But this suitability is for Octarians is at 14. So by building the terraforming facility, it would make it go to 24, which would make it suitable. So I'm gonna definitely colonize this. And it's smart enough to know to use Octarians, not my base race, right, the Akuro. So it's gonna build a, in theory, it doesn't always work, but it's gonna build a colony ship over here, wherever my Akuro, I think it's here. So if I go to colony ships, well, it's not built yet, but it will be built soon, I hope. All right, we've encountered, yep, a very nasty creature here, which I'm going to probably wait to clear out. By the way, Second Fleet is ready, and if I was not talking the, through this whole thing, I probably would have them start, well, they're almost ready. I would probably have them start wiping out, wiping out creatures. Okay, the recent outbreak of war has just made our citizens temporarily decreased our happiness. So, we've encountered a new empire, and they seem to see where that flashing yellow is behind the uh, display there on the left, and they've declared war on us. Now, this often happens when you first meet an empire, so I'm hoping that they will discuss peace soon afterwards, right? And they're, they're pretty far away here, so I'm not super concerned. The only colony, I mean, they could hurt my Loros fruit over here, which I'd be concerned about. But most likely they would go after this colony, and it's well protected right now. And it's pretty far range for them early game. So I'm not super worried about it, so we're going to let it play out. <clears throat> but you can see I probably took a reputation hit. Uh, well, I, I'm starting to take a reputation hit from the war weariness, but I'm surprised actually, which is here. Anyway, my people are unhappy, so my money's probably going to drop. We'll see what happens. I've got to watch carefully here because they may ask for peace right away. As often happens when you first meet an enemy empire. But we've had our first official war nonetheless, even if there's no combat that happens. By the way, if you hover over here, you can keep track. There it is. New colony ships completed. Excellent. All right, so they're going to build that colony. By the, I was interrupted by this war. Let me go back, pause the game. I want to see if there was another one I could build to. Yeah, this one, well, this one we could get to 19, but it is pretty far out. I'd like to expand my empire that way, but I'll definitely wait till the war is over before I consider that. So even at even if I built the terraforming, right, it would only bring it to 19, but that's okay. It would probably be a break-even colony, and it would expand my empire out here and my influence, which is really what I want to do. Uh, so I probably will do that not too far in the future. Okay. Let's let it go. I'm curious to see. Now, we don't have really good sensors, so that's something else I want to research, right? I want to research long-range sensors if I'm going to be at war. I want to make sure I can see them coming, right? So, yeah, and I can't even build it. Again, the sensor research bonus is killing me, it looks like, yeah. Yeah. But I can get short, I don't even have short range sensors. So this is a priority because I want to be able to see these guys coming. By the way, shift left click moves this right to the top. Although I don't really want it at the exact top, I'll move it down one. All right, and I'm going to rush this one, right? Because it's pretty close to being done anyway. Yeah, 70,000, uh, I think it's worth it. We're going to rush this because I hate to lose it from a random event. Okay. All right. So we're in good shape as long as this empire isn't too close and isn't too heavily armed. I do have enough fleet to defend, probably. All right. So I think we're going to end the episode here, leaving you kind of hanging about the war here. I'm terraforming my colonies here they're probably already up to three percent so i'm going to be doing well with money i've got decent research again once i have some more money this will get up to 393 or above 400 with these two so i'm in a really good spot we've wiped out the pirates that was a big big goal for this episode so i'm really excited about that we've we've uh, secured a very high uh very high producing uh money producing Loros fruit, right? Our Loros fruit. So that's, again, it's near our border with our enemy. That's not a good thing, but we've secured this. This is huge. Oh, by the way, there's they found two more things there, right? Polymer and carbonate. That's great. 
But this is huge for us. If we could find the other three, that would be great too. There's usually only one source, I believe. Maybe there's more, but there's very few of them, if, if more than one. There's usually one source of it in the galaxy. Uh, I built a lot more exploration ships, right? So I'm up to 23. So that should produce a lot more findings. And then we're in a good spot. So I don't think this war is going to go anywhere. I think they're going to ask for peace in the near future. Or I'll maybe negotiate peace with them. And then I'm going to just focus, on, like I said, which I'm already doing, on increasing this revenue. And from there, we'll expand a little bit more and we'll see how it goes. So not too bad for a warmongering player like myself uh, dealing with a pacifist race. We're doing pretty good. We put ourselves in a hole to begin with with some very difficult settings in the beginning of the game. And I think we're doing okay. I'm sure we're behind on tech compared to our <clears throat> our neighbors, but our AI empires, but that's to be expected. Okay, I just built that research center. This is super important. I'm going to go to my home. Actually, I may go here with the Octarians because eventually this will become a bigger... In fact, it already is bigger, right? Yeah, it already is bigger in population, not in income. Uh, so I'm going to put the research center here, actually, because that's going to become my most important colony eventually. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to build this. This costs 50000 I have 50000 It's a 2500 maintenance cost. Not too bad, but it's going to give me a 10% increase when it's built to all my research. That's huge, right? That's going to pull us, well, these, this new station is going to pull us probably about 500 and then that 10% is going to bring us, right, another 50 or so. So I'm, I'm going to be in a really good place with the research, relatively speaking. Let's just let it run for a minute. Let's see if we can't get peace from these uh, new empire that we just encountered. Here's our new colony, and we'll leave it with that. So we've got our fourth colony. Oh, and look at that, a peace offering. So now we can end the episode. Okay, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and good hunting.